the rise in real estate companies and real estate developers in Lagos <laughs> is common is a common thing right now whenever investors come to my dm that grab you is only properties from real estate companies or it's properties only properties in real estate i want to buy you so it's apparent that um 70 percent 80 percent of the real estate purchases right now in lagos nabuja and a lot of places in lagos right now uh don't form real estate companies but again a lot of investors are getting some misconceptions and are getting some things some things wrong when they are buying from a real estate company so as we do as our role here our job is to guide you to assist you so we're talking about some five common mistakes that investors make when they are buying from a real estate company or they are buying certain estates in case you are coming across a video like this for the first time please meet the property guy property channel and this will discuss everything real estate Real estate companies, real estate, real estate developers, real estate documents, real estate titles, property frauds, property scams, everything basically you need to know to protect yourself, protect your investments when you are buying real estate and investing in real estate here in Nigeria and in Lagos specifically. So we share tips, guides and advice about everything you need to know. Chocolates, everything, everything. So after watching this particular video, if this is your first video you are watching, I also suggest that you go to our different playlists or real estate companies, property titles, and so on and so forth. You are definitely, definitely going to learn a lot by going to the, this different playlist. All right, so let's go straight into the topic. Five mistakes by investors when they are buying from a real estate company or they are buying inside an estate. Now, if you have not subscribed yet to our videos, I will, I will not stop inviting you. I will not stop inviting you. I will not subscribe yet to our channel. And it is, we want you to subscribe. If you have been thinking about any way you can support us, any way you can be a part of um, this channel, be a part of what we do, just subscribe first. <laughs> subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our videos, turn on your notification button. That's also one of the ways that you can support us. And share these videos for your contacts, share these videos for your friends, and also invite them to also come subscribe to this, um, to this channel. All right, so the first mistake is for investors assuming <laughs> investors assuming that the companies are going to perfect the title all right so uh, there are so many estates in Bajuleki, so many estates in Ekbe that were sold that are being sold co4 in view co4 in process acquisition in process acquisition in view and a lot of investors bought into these properties on the assumption that yeah uh, is a company is a listed company that is selling it don't worry they will perfect the title they will do the documents but that's not the case if a company are going to perfect the title of a property is going to be relevant in the price they are selling the property is 2.5 million in this lagos no company will perfect that title because they can't perfect with that amount not possible when you remove the amount they bought the land you remove the amount they used to do some certain things they pay commission and the company still take their profits how much will remain for them to perfect the title so in most cases the CFO in view the CFO in process the execution in process the execution in view will remain in view and remain in process even after you have bought because the companies want to sell the land it now belongs to you to perfect the title it's not all properties that the company are going to perfect the title so in most cases it's advisable that you ask and in most cases it's even better that you get a surveyor to check the land status before you buy so that when you buy you already have an idea of what to do next for you to perfect the title now the second mistake and second misconception a lot of investors have with estate properties is that they assume that the government cannot acquire a property because it belongs inside an estate which is a lie governments don't care if a land is family land or is company land as long as the land doesn't have the title that makes it safe from government acquisition governments are going to acquire it and unfortunately we love the estates that are selling are selling government acquisition land because they know that a lot of investors don't check and a lot of investors at times don't even care they go there buy the property and sell it see incentives like buy three get one free buy one get one free buy six get one free 
buy five get one free. Some people will buy sixteen plots, twelve plots, and they are buying government acquired land. So just because the property is inside an estate or the property is buying, being sold by a real estate company, that alone is not enough assurance that the government cannot acquire that property. There are so many properties, particularly in Bajuleki last year, that some companies have sold three years ago, two years ago. The company went there and reallocated the land to another company. <laughs> the Lagos the government is crazy there. Because the government, the, um, the company that sold the land before to investors did not have title and did not perfect the title. So the government went and gave it to another company that paid them for title, allocated the land to them. And the company, new company is selling the land. So, because it's a company selling or is it's at an estate, it's not the government business. Then in that land, they will go there and get it. Particularly if the title is not perfect yet. Now, the third mistake which investors do when they buy from a real estate company or they buy an estate is that they delay paying the statutory fees because they assume that the statutory fees is only if you want to build in the estate, which is a lie. And a lot of these companies have become smart, which means that if you don't pay the statutory fees, they are not going to allocate you. And a lot of investors still don't mind because they feel like ah, my land there is safe now. Whenever I need it or I want to sell it, uh -huh, I can pay the statutory fees then. It's still a lie too. If you buy a land from any company, try to pay everything you are supposed to pay. Either you want to build there or you don't want to build there. You want to live there or you don't want to live there. Pay all the statutory fees and collect your land. Collect your physical allocation. Even if you buy it for investment, still pay the statutory fees and collect your allocation. Because you can't sell a land if it's paper allocation that you have. You must have a physical allocation with a survey plan before you can sell that property. So, you bought the property and you bought it for investment. Yes, pay the development levy. Yes, pay the survey. Yes, pay the deed of assignment and get your physical allocation. Don't delay it because you paid you bought, you bought for investment. Real estate is not stock. Real estate is not shares. Real estate is not crypto. There must be a physical property for you to point to that you bought and you paid for and that you want to sell. So, if you know that you want your allocation, you want your investment to be secure, you want inve your investment to be complete, pay all the statutory fees when you buy from a company and get your physical allocation. Now, I know that some companies still have further um, regulations, like they can give you a timeline to build, they can also, or they might also tell you that it's, if it's, it's when you want to build that they're going to allocate your land for you. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. And that's why I don't sell for some companies. As simple as that. But that you come to my idea, you mention your company, I'm not, I'm not selling for them. And if I'm not selling for your company, I don't mention them. I don't talk about them because it's their business policy. If you buy from them, that's you. You are the one that tried to buy from them, basically. So it's in their contract or their FEQ. You sign it, you are fine with it. That's why you bought it. If I'm not fine with it, then don't buy it. It's as simple as that. I'm not fine with some of their terms. That's why I don't sell it. Simple. So, if you are buying a land, you are buying a property for investment, pay, pay the ancillary fees and collect your physical allocation of that property. As simple as that. That's it. Now, another common mistake, the fourth common mistake actually, <laughs> that a lot of investors, you can see this one is a bit funny. They deposit the for too many properties. You see someone have 10 million. 10 million. I don't want to mention a particular something. So, they have 10 million. So, instead of them to like, okay, let me buy two properties for 5 million each. 10 million, I know I've paid for the property and I get my allocation. Now, 10 million, look for one property, put the deposit of 1 million. Look for another property, put the deposit of 500k. Put another property, put the deposit of 3 million. Another property, put the deposit of another 1 million. So by, by the time you know it, they would have spread the deposits around like 7, 8 properties. That 10 million. That the that's supposed to use to pay two properties, pay for two properties and collect allocation. They will spread it and like seven or eight properties now they'll survive for six months for one 12 months for another three months for another one two years for another one so by the time you realize it that even some of the substitution they will forget that they are paid one million in some they will forget that they are paid 500k in some 
So after two years, out of the entire seven properties, maybe it's just only one, they'll get allocation. And I'll put like, they have invested like around 15 million or 20 million. Company will just be happy to be able to collect your money. So don't deposit in too many properties. Don't deposit in too many companies. Don't do beyond your financial stretch. If it's 10 million, you know you can do it in six months. Just buy two or three properties. If it's 15 million, you know you can do it in one year. Just buy like one or three properties. Don't spread that money too much into different deposits and be doing the, ah the price want to increase tomorrow. Okay, let me pay five hundred k. Ah, this one the price want to increase next week. Oh, let me pay one point one million. All these companies that are very smart, they will collect your money. If they say ah it's one million I have, bring it. Ah, uh, bring it. Yes, we secure it for you. They collect your one. Million. If you like, don't pay again in three months or six months time. They collected your one million. And your deposit, if you want to collect it back, they will move forty percent. Or some day we even tell you that to go and meet someone. That is willing to buy before they will give you your money back. So you don't have to get yourself into these unnecessary situations. Look at the property that you know that ah, this one conveniently within three months or within six months. Uh -huh. The money I have, we pay for it, pay for that one. But by putting deposit into too many properties, you are going to realize that this one you have there, this one you have there, this one. Ah, so where is your plot there? Ah, it's just deposit that I paid. This one, okay, you have this one. Where your plot there? Ah, you just deposit that I paid. Oh, you just deposit you have paid. You don't have property there. Just forget it. I disturb you yourself. <laughs> yeah, you don't have property there. So try to put your money into property that you know that you can pay off as fast as possible. Don't put your deposit into too many properties. It's a great mistake. It's just a misconception. Now, finally, the fifth common mistake a lot of investors do is buying only from one company or only in one, one estate. Some people in one estate, they have 15 plots. <sighs> I don't know. So, 15 plots that you could have spread in like five different towns, four different towns in that location, you put it in only on one estate. And unfortunately, sometimes the estate again, they will not have title. Some people bought the Bejuleki. Five six get one free. They bought eighteen plots. They bought twelve plots. Now the company did not allocate. Or oh, there's twelve plots or eighteen plots. <laughs> I told They don't see anything. <laughs> so assuming they bought only three plots there, they bought another three plots from another company. They bought another three plots from like four other companies. At least all the companies they cannot be mad together. <laughs> like two or three of out of them would have allocated their land. They know that hey, at least I have this one. It's only this. Uh, one that I, I know I have not collected three plots from them. But by buying all the 16 plots or whatever plots from one company is a big risk. I know to add that some of these companies can fold up they can fold up anytime. You have to remember one rule. And this rule I always tell to my investor. Your property will outlive the company. Your property will outlive the company. Three years from now, the company might not be existing again. Your property will be there. Five years from now, the Company might not be existing again. Your property will be there. Ten years from now, your, the company might not be existing again. Your property will be there. So that's why you want to at least protect yourself. Look at credible companies, the new companies, the existing companies, the reputable companies, but don't buy from only one. Spread it. And don't buy from only one estate. Spread it. You are spreading risk. It's very, very important. You see, Nigeria is a high risk, high yield country. So you can make so much money and can lose so much money too. So that's why you want to put in so many risk management in your investments. Just, just to protect yourself. So um I won't advise you, I won't advise you buy a lot in just one estate. And also I want to also advise you buy all your investment from just one company. So a lot of you guys have your preferred companies, your preferred um brands i don't want to mention names but it's still advisable that you also try to spread it and also invest in other products too. so these are the common five misconceptions if there is any here that you don't agree with me it's fine just drop a comment drop, drop a comment with here and then i can explain further tell you why i said so and then can also rub minds and also share perspectives on, on on some of them so the comment is open you can tell us what you think if there's any of these mistakes that you have made, <laughs> there was it too many, <laughs> or you bought you bought properties and you don't pay the statutory fees, 
or you bought properties and you feel like the companies are going to perfect the title at 2.5 million <laughs> so what's a lot <laughs> or you are just buying everything just from one company you can you can drop your comments you can drop your comment and then you can look at it what's it about investment is when you invest you learn so the more you invest the more you learn the more you realize that okay this doesn't work this work this works better and, and so on and so forth so can drop your comments I'm, I'm really willing to listen to you and listen to your to your feedback based on the different misconceptions that i've shared here so if you, you also prefer a one-on-one -on -one chat my whatsapp number is always on the screen you can call me you can text me on whatsapp and you can look at how it can be of help to you based on whatever whatever that you want us to assist you with if it's something i do if something I don't do, I recommend some contact. I have surveyors, I have lawyers, I have people at the Ministry of Land that do documentation, do physical planning, do um, building approvals. So I have people I can recommend to you if it's not something I do. So if it's something I do, I can share my own advice and also give my own suggestions on how you can do this better. All right. So I see many of the party, party of the planet, your party advisor, party consultant, Rabbi Mustafa. Thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for listening to us. Thanks for your time. I appreciate you seeing us time.